<laughs> and they arrived, baby. E, two thousand dollars. That's how much it cost me because it took two thousand years to get. And got the dome light switches too. Ooh, and it comes with a little toolkit. Okay, probably uh, those might come in handy. Who knows? But so far so good. Let's rock and roll, baby. We're in. Time to finish this thing. All right, back at it again today. Today is the day these seatbelts finally go in. So I'm gonna be yanking everything back out of the interior of what I put in there so I can put the seatbelts on, put the quarter panels in, lock everything in, hopefully it'll be good to go. So that's pretty much uh, probably gonna be it for today. It depends on how fast we finish this. Um, other than that, oh, and after that, of course, finish the brakes. Hopefully put on the back one. No, I didn't clear it. I didn't clear it like those. Well, let's get started on seatbelts. We'll see where we go from there and see what we get, get done today. Let's go. Look at this. It's, it's gunk all it and gunk. It's junk all in there. There's a quarter pounds down there somewhere. All right, let's get this going. All cleaned out. This is a bit. Ew. All right, so now let's get this started. Let's get these bad boys in. Oh, ew. yeah, rats got to that. Ain't no more rats in here, though. None. They're gone. I ain't gonna lie, homie. This crap looks so cheap. There is no label. On left or right. And you know how on these ones, it has an insert for you to lock it in so it doesn't go anywhere? Well, look at that. There's not an insert on here, boy. That is rough. Look, it's falling apart already. What the heck? Oh, what the heck, homie? Cheap. Yeah, this is this is a little too much for two hundred dollars. Maybe like one fifty or less would make sense. This is cheap. They're making a lot of money. All right, let's put these in, man. Quit complaining. All right, so I lied. I'd say these things are a hundred dollars. Lake Model should not be selling these for two hundred bucks. A hundred dollars each side. It's like two hundred and twenty bucks. So like a hundred and ten each side. These things are so cheaply built. So cheap. Like it's not locked in there. Like I would feel over time this would become loose and I had to take the quarter panel off eventually because it's not locked in there with something locking it to where it doesn't twist. All it is is just the bolt that's holding it down right now. Then on top of this, the back speaker tray that they give you, <coughs> trash. Look at this. It's already sinking in right here. Not just covered over to where it's like kind of hidden. Sucks. And then on I just, oh man, I gotta cut this too. Look at how much overhang that is. You guys are supposed to be perfectionists at these Fox bodies and everything is off. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. All right, so check this out. They kind of mark the line where you need to cut, but I recommend scissors or something that be able to cut through this. The reason why I say that is because it's difficult. And check this out. But on the other side, if you try to pull how cheap this carpet is, it actually pulls with it. You gotta rock it like back and forth in order to cut it like that. Cause if you just pull it and try to drag the razor, like how you usually do, you just rip the carpet open and it'll ruin it. See, it's already, it's already messing up right here. See how it pulls? Now you gotta chop it, slice it just like that. All right, so for the people that get the back trays from late model, I'm not hating on late model, I ain't saying nothing, but they are kind of getting people right now. Look at this. I gotta slice each section because the razor is not gonna work, it's tough, and then on the back side, it's gonna rip it up and make it look disgusting. Right now, I've been using this. It's looking nasty still. Hopefully it stays hidden as long as it's not ripping it up from here, like how this one was with the razor. I'm using some cutters and a razor, and I gotta cut the section, so I gotta go across, cut this way, go this way, cut this way, because it won't go all the way across but this doesn't cut through the carpet, so I gotta use the razor to cut through the carpet. Let me give you an example real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, I won't cut through the carpet. Now, use the razor, a broken razor. Whatever razor you got at home, maybe a broken one just like this one. And that's how pretty much I've been doing it. That's it, it's just gonna take a little long process. Sucks, but it's doable. Well, I'll get you guys back once once I'm done with this in 40 minutes. That's it. Look at this. Look at how rough this is. Could have at least pre-cut it for me. You guys marked it. Could have at least pre-cut it, god dang it. Look at this jacked up line right here, homie. That's looking rough. But not a soul is gonna see this. So only the people watching this video would know that it's there. But other than that, it's all right. We'll see if it fits. Hopefully it does. And if it don't, we're gonna just send it. And <laughs> it's gonna break, so. Let's put this in. Show you guys a little video after once it's in. Fits good, fits perfect. Time to lock it in. Headliner's not aligned really, but. Oh, you can fix that. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I got this shipped in. These are the bolts for the quarter panel. It's crazy how I got these. So on one of the pages, this guy had posted this parts car at the, um, 
at the ecology and I had just seen it and everything like that. And I was like, dang. Okay, so what happened was uh, there was a notchback at the, at the junkyard. We got some parts for Trav's car and then I told Trav, well, we'll just come back for the bolts tomorrow because it's getting late and we don't have time. No one's gonna take the bolts or the screws. So I went back the next day, gone. Everything demolished, the whole half of the roof is gone, literally. And uh, I ended up seeing it on Facebook that somebody posted a notch and they were like, dang, what a sweet find today at the junkyard. Da -da -da. And I was like, man, I was just over there and I tried to get the screws for the quarter panels. That's what I went there for. And he's like, you know what? I actually got those. I don't know if he went there for those two or what, but he ended up shipping it to me for free. That That's a huge appreciation right there. So I want to thank Octavio from Santa Ana. I appreciate you, brother. I know I probably said it a few times on Facebook, but I appreciate you. So now time for these to actually go in and lock in place. I thought this was pretty cool. Okay, so gave me the envelope. I open it. It was inside one more envelope, another envelope. I was inside another little envelope that had an even littler envelope. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. It's like some 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 Dr. Seuss type stuff going on there. I appreciate that though. Yeah, and when you're taking your quarter panels off and your pillars, don't forget the bolts underneath, okay? This wasn't me. It's just this is what happened previously. Don't forget those bolts, man. Is it a snap? And now it doesn't hold its super strength, you know. It's crazy. After I installed it, which it looks good, it looks dope. Um, I found the bag that I got from my boy Phil. All the interior little pieces and stuff. Still haven't found all the stuff for the uh, AC controls. I haven't found none of those, but this is what I needed. So now I can complete these. Mm. All right, so we got Boog holding it. Where is it gonna be at? Looks great, right? What is this? I could have just stayed with my stock gray ones. If I knew it was gonna recoil like this, this is horrible. These are like a, this is a hundred dollar set right here. Seat belts should be going for a hundred dollars, not 150. I was, you know, boosting these up, confidence. After seeing this, this is ridiculous. This is no good. Man, LMR, I don't know who be stocking y'all with these. Get rid of them fellas, cause this is trash. I could have stayed with the gray one. The, re the gray ones actually recoil better than this, but I haven't already spent the money. Going down the drain, put this in. And look at the carpet. Look at this. This is that crap is really aggravating me right here. It won't go any further either. I probably should have got a time lapse of all this, but I didn't. And it's too late now. Looking good. Look at that little tiny little section I cut out for this. Yee! Let's go. Boog still finishing up his side. Yep. Look at that. I didn't cut that side of the carpet at all. This is how the molding came and everything was like that. It's straight over here. It looks great over here. Everything's tucked perfect. Tucked. Take it right here. Then over there is where it, it kind of messes up. So carpet's junk too. I don't like it. But I guess it is what it is. We're going to have to try to fix that because that's, that's just too much. Got the seat finally locked in. Oh yeah, baby. Coming together. over here spraying it for me light coats baby that's hopefully gonna work all right so stuck with the driver chair thought it was able to plug right in because that's what i was i don't know if i was told that i know the termi seats can't be plugged directly into the fox body but i thought he had a connector on there for the that was on the termi seat that would connect to the fox body so i'm stuck with that everything else is together it looks the same i know sucks but i did so much work today i don't understand so much work. Seat belts are locked in on both sides. I guess we're good on that. Now, just put everything together tomorrow. No, Monday. Monday, I'll be doing the steering wheel. I'm gonna yank the steering wheel off. I'm gonna get the shifter back in there and hopefully put up both brakes. And then we'll see where we go, where we go from there. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Okay, so they did not get, I just banged this up and chipped the paint off because it was a little poked out. But anywho, um, they didn't give you the option for this. I don't really know what it is, if y'all can tell me. I was thinking that maybe it's like a locking mechanism for the uh, actual seatbelt or something. I have no idea. It's a little thing that goes in and out on the door. Just uh, 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 uh. They gave you an option to plug it. So I'm gonna plug it right now and then be done. Boom, both sides are done. This side actually looks decent. I just need to put the computer up and all that other stuff. Three more coats and it's fine. But other than that, good. I'm gonna lay it down, but that's gonna be it for tonight. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.
<laughs> we'll catch you guys tomorrow. As you can see, I'm sitting down right now because I ain't doing nothing. I'm waiting on some stuff. I was gonna go to AutoZone, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and send Trav and them. It's too hot. And they're already on their way, so it doesn't, you know, it, it's good. It benefits me, so I don't have to move really. I might have to stop by AutoZone a little later because I do need an adapter for the right side brake line. Either or, it doesn't really matter. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and yank this off so I can actually put the horn set up, the cruise control buttons, everything in there. Even though, I have no cruise control set up at all. That's just how I came with the car. This is how I came. But it is a lazy day. It's like it's like 80 degrees out here. 85 in San Diego. So let's get started on the steering wheel. Yeah. Background noise. Let's try this out. Uh. <laughs> how do I look? That's that torque, baby. <laughs> Alright, enough playing around. Let's fill up. Let's fill up. Let's fill up. Hold on. Oh dang. Oh dang. Oh. All right. I'm still going with $150. Even though they knew that I say $150. Ooh. 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 They nice. They nice. I like it. All right, let's get started on this bad boy. Let me show y'all real quick. Hold on. So the accessories you're gonna need. Harmonic balancer pulley kit, same thing as a steering wheel puller, pretty much. Harmonic balancer puller kit, a 15. Let me show you guys exactly what we do, or how it's done, if you guys ever, you know, ever wanna do this, or if you guys don't know how to do it, boom, watch and learn. So that was a little tough only because i didn't know that these two were bent so i was trying to put them in and they were just like blah, 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 flopping all the way around so make sure you get these uh not bent i don't know why we still got these we should have we should have then got some new ones that's a real race car i don't know that's all i need just pop it off right there baby oh yeah we go to the store jdn style baby all right now I took it off. This steering wheel is great and in amazing shape. Not really anything on there. A little bit of cracks here and there, but it's nice and smooth and pretty firm, but it's missing everything. So I'm gonna get the other steering wheel. I'm gonna take everything off of that steering wheel so I can actually get a horn. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the horn too. Horn's easy. A lot of people don't know about it. So hopefully I help some people out. All right, here's the donor wheel. This is the original wheel that was on here, actually on this one. That wheel I got uh and column i got from my boy uh phil probably a long time ago inside of this like cylinder i don't know what you would call this this is where the cylinder goes ignition cylinder um yeah that one's damaged steering wheel looks ugly it's soft so it feels like it'll just rip as soon as you start turning but let's yank this apart put the pieces on that wheel Chunks missing and everything. Now let's yank this apart. There it is. Look at that. You can see the glossiness in the steering wheel. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But it's done. A little bit heavier. Added weight. But I ain't tripping. So it looks beautiful. Even though I don't have none of these, it didn't come with the car. This is like the basic, basic model, but I'm gonna still install it, baby. But I'm done with the steering wheel. Clean all this dirt and dust off. Throw the, the horn pad on. I actually replace the horn pad. I might put the horn in today too. So I'll be working. Let me get to it. I'm gonna start taking it apart. I'm gonna see if it's good or not. It might be good, it might not be, but. 
Only way to find out is if you open it. It's not too bad, it's not too hard, so. All right, so some of you may know how to do this already, where there's a lot of people that are out there. Um, Maybe especially in San Diego. Their 87 through 89 horn never works. Somebody either has it unplugged, the horn's not actually there, or whatnot. A lot of people don't know about this, but horn pads goes right behind this rubber piece on this so you basically take it apart it's pretty easy but this is what causes your horn to either stay on have full contact and that's the reason why a lot of people unplug them because they don't really know how to fix them when i bought this it was like 11 bucks this may have been like three years ago four years ago or five or six or longer anywho get you this replace it with this pretty easy you just peel it up off of those this one's kind of easy too and expose it boom like so try not to break it or anything like that this padding looks new too ah oh look at that horn pad i'm not gonna waste it i'm not gonna do anything with that because this looks actually redone or it may just be stock aftermarket one's black i'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna waste my money. I'm gonna save that just in case though. So it is just one little piece that you just gotta pop out and it's all the outer ones. All the outside ones right here. Boom, 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 and boom. Right there. Now, I ain't gonna mess with it because it is good. Thought it would have been bad, but it ain't. So we're good. The horns are just not there, I guess. So good thing we got back up. So let's put this back together, throw it in, and be good. Hopefully get the horn working right now. And voila, look at that. Not a thing. You know what's crazy? This, I don't even know where I got these from. I don't even know. So we're going to see if these work. They look like they could they do pretty good. Wait a minute. Where's my horn harness? Oh, here it is. Boom. Now, I just need to go find a bolt to actually lock it in place so it can actually stay right here. So let's go find those. Get these a good clean. They're a little dusty on the inside. Can't have nothing dirty. Gotta have everything brand new. <laughs> yeah, right. But I do want to clean it off. I don't know why. And no, no one's ever going to see this. But it's just, I don't know. I'm weird. And then clean this one. Look at this. This one's dirty. Knock this out. Done. We got a problem. It's minor. I know there's no bolt in there, but it should be spot welded on here. But the spot weld broke somehow. Now I'm gonna have to deal with this. And I gotta scoot this, push this more over. Ah, issues, issues. Give it a try. This is some fuses. Forgot. Look right. okay, good now. Let's hear it. Oh no. That sounds like one horn. Oh, I need the horn board. Yeah, true. Found the problem. The one that looks brand new with the sticker is the one that does not work. This one works perfectly fine. This one doesn't. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and order another one. Well, that's gonna be a while from now because uh, I'm not gonna order that right now. Got other things to worry about. But that's set up. Everything's good to go. In the future, I just have to change the eye. Putting the shifter boot back on with the shifter on there and the ball. I ain't gonna time lapse this one. This one, I'm gonna just put on. Show you guys after. Ooh, and oh, not as much packages, man. Not as much in there, but downsizing finally. Almost done. Up for the power windows one. Look at that, number 17. No, no, no. My bad. 14. It's right there. Hopefully I can find that and see if my windows actually work so I can order some freaking window motors. Oh, done. Looks beautiful. Car looks amazing. All right, now I got to get all these other boxes out of here. That box is not even supposed to be in here. I got to yank that and take that to the house. Let me do that right now. Anywho, other than that, everything is good. Everything's good to go. Now I just got to figure out where the wiring goes for the uh, dash. Because, uh, like, check me out. They're unplugged out of there, which usually typically happens. Hopefully somebody comes up with, like, some new clips that they can actually put out there and sell. Um... Maybe they got them. I don't know. I got the same problem going down here. There's a few of them down here too as well. And then I got to connect the back harness that was burnt up. I got to reconnect that one. So all in all, that should take probably about like maybe like 15 minutes because we got other foxes. So I'll see where what goes. But I would rather get the new clips if I can. But if I can't, it doesn't really matter. So all that's left is two. Those are clear coated. You know what I'm saying? Those are done. They came out pretty good. I like them. These are clear coated, caked clear coat, but it looks good. So that's pretty much what's left. Put these on. So once I get those on, bleed the brakes. That'll be the last piece of fluids that'll go in here. Knock that out and then do those little knickknacks for the wiring harness. And then she is complete. I'll be driving. I'll be driving, oh. All right, so that should be next week, man. 
I know I've been putting you guys on hold and I've been putting you guys on the back burner and it's been taking a long time. It is a process for these projects. But let's get to it, man. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day. Until next time, like how KPBS used to be. I'll catch you guys next week. I should come up with a saying, huh? Stang D love, we out.